Hi everyone, my name is Brian, I'm the 3D Print Creator and in this video we are going to make coasters like this one over here. And uh, well, how you can do this in a batch and make it very easy, well, I'm going to show you in this video. So to make these custom coasters and to do it in a production batch, uh, we first have to make a backboard for our laser so that we know where to position them so we can re yeah, repeat every step we are doing. And I'm going to do this in Lightburn. This is Lightburn version 1.3.10, where I'm going to open the circular tool and uh, create a circle while holding the shift button, because then it will be a perfect circle and not an ellipse. So holding the shift button down helps you making a perfect circle. Now, this circle has to have the dimensions of this coaster, and therefore I am selecting 100 millimeters as my dimension over here. And uh, when I press enter, then this circle is the perfect size. Now, when I'm choosing this perfect size for the drawing on the backboard, then I will have a problem because I won't be able to see it. So I'm making a second circle which has to be uh, yeah, slightly bigger. So again, I'm creating a cir circle while holding the shift button, and this time I will make it 110 millimeters in diameter. And uh, those two I have to position on top of each other, so selecting them both and then pressing this center uh, circle object or, or uh, align tool for align both the vertical and the horizontal uh, centers. When I press this, boom, everything is aligned. Remember that the last part you selected is the one you are aligning to. Now, with this done, I'm also going to draw a line. And this line has to be drawn from the top here to the bottom over there. And as you can see, it snaps perfectly. So I'll just have to do this, bring it to the snap point, boom, and there it is. Now I can hit escape and that line is set. And again, I'm going to do this over here as well. Bring it from here to here, snap, and well, everything is done. So now when I zoom in to what I've created, oh, sorry, zoom in to what I've created, as we can see over here. Now we have created this and I'm going to the full view again. Here it is. This is one object for the backboard, but I have to make multiples, I have to make at least six. So I'm going to show you how to do that because that is how production work will work. So um, I'm going to select everything and make a group out of it. Now it's a group and now when I select one thing in this group, I select everything. So you now have a group of lines and circles which are one object and I can now place it wherever I want but I place it here in the, the left bottom corner uh, and then I go to this tool over here which you can see there which is the create an array of selected objects well we just created an object and it's selected so now we can create an array of this and uh, what well, I like to do it uh, like tree by tree now, I told you already, I only have to make six, but hey, why not make it like this? Because we're only making the backboard for these kind of coasters, and I'm sure there will be other batches that I have to make. So um, this array will be okay. We can eventually make a little bit more spacing between them, like five millimeters and five millimeters, uh, so that the objects are not close together. And when we've done so, we just press OK. Now we select everything by hitting Ctrl A and we bring everything to the center of the laser, which you can do with this move to center of page button on top in your toolbar. So now everything is moved to the center of your work area. And uh, the fun thing is that all these objects, because we uh, made groups of it, uh, before we started uh, yeah, messing around with them. Now all these are groups. So all these are one object. If 
if we now select everything again by pressing Ctrl A and then going to arrange and lock selected shapes, we now have locked these shapes on a certain point on the backboard. So we're not able to move them anymore. Those are locked in place, which is a good thing for the next operation we are going to do. But first we are going to create this backboard and we do that by, uh, well, this depends on your laser, of course, if you have a 5 watt laser or maybe a 1 watt laser, uh, you will have to vary your settings accordingly. But for my laser, which is a 10 watt machine, which I'm using at the moment, uh, I can set here the speed at uh, 4000, uh, the passes to 1 and the laser uh, strength, the, the uh, maximum power strength to 60%. So this will be enough for my laser to do this engraving on that backboard. Let's take a look how it turns out. Now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to, uh, yeah, to make the design that we want to have on one of those instances. And for that first I select one of those, then I zoom into it and for that I can use the zoom tool that you see over here which is the uh, zoom to frame selection and if you click on that one you will be brought directly to that object that you selected. First, let us choose some uh, from the art library, some Christmas things. And uh, well, I do have a snowman and a reindeer and a Christmas sock, that kind of things. Well, I think this snowman, I like this. So I bring it in and well, it might be just a little bit too big. So change it in size and uh, yeah, something like this. That might be fine. Then uh, also see uh, what else I can choose. Uh, well, maybe something like this. The bells can bring that in. And that might be very funny to have here on top. Make it a little bit smaller and bring it into the top just like this. And of course, I want to have a name in there. So I'm going here. Now, for this, I select the largest name that I can think of. And in our group, uh, we all have uh, four or five letter names. So the, the people that are attending to this Christmas party, uh, the largest name will be a five letter name. And that will be my name. So. I'm writing my name over here, select it, and now I can select uh, another um, another font, but I can't select it. I don't know why. Oh, because everything is selected. That's not what I wanted. I want just this, and then I can select the font, uh, which is over here. Now go for a nice font, uh, which will be a funny font for Christmas. Maybe something like this one. Nah, that's too much. That's too much. This one is nice. So I'm going to use this font and now I'm going to bring that name somewhere here. Make it a bit bigger like this yeah something like this this will do now of course I didn't show you that already uh, now of course I can uh, bring this font to the center because when I 
pick it up in the center and I bring it to the center of my object, which is the blue layer, uh, then you will see it snaps to it. So this is what I'm going to do. And then I'm selecting my snowman and I can make that a bit smaller. Uh, I can also rotate it a bit. So it's just, yeah, it's funny to do. Um, I have the bells over here and maybe I have a Christmas tree. If I can, oh, this is even more fun. Yeah, this is more fun. I can bring it down and turn it. Did you see how I turned it around? Uh, by picking one of the corners and dragging it to the other side, you can turn it around. And I think for this, it will be nice to turn it around. So this is just a way of selecting and grabbing and uh, making it the right size for, yeah, for your engraving. So I think this is what I like. I think this is the, the look that I like for this instance. But now I'm going to do a second thing. I'm going to drag a circle around it. Just like this. Um, I'm going to resize that circle. 100 like this. Pick it up. Center it. And now I'm going to select that circle with my name, with the bells, with this and this. And now I've done so, I'm going to zoom out a little. Um, I'm going to press Ctrl C or copy, Ctrl V to place it. And I'm dragging it down here. So now I've got the complete copy of this uh, and also my name is selected in there. I can do this again, Ctrl V and bring one here as well, which is also perfectly centered. Again, like this and again, like this and we are with five people at that Christmas dinner so I have to change the names now and that'll be it. So I'm going to select the name, double click it and uh, make this another name. Going to do this here as well. Um, first select the name, double click it make this another name and here I can see a small problem but I'm, I'm going to show you in a few minutes uh, or a few seconds uh, again another name so here I've got all the names and now only with this one, I'm going to show you that there is a little problem. So I'm going to zoom in on that one specific. Here you can see that, uh, well, the, the snowman and the name, they are interfering with each other. So now I'm going to select the snowman and just bring it in so that it's not in the name. And uh, that'll be all. Now, when I've done this, when everything is selected like this, I'm going to turn off the blue layer. So I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to output it. So now I only have my ornaments here, which I want to uh, engrave. And now I can start messing around with what I want to have as a line drawing and what I want to have as a... Um, a real uh, fill. So maybe I want names to be a fill, like this one. I can bring it to yet another layer and make that a fill layer. Can do that to this one as well. So now the names are going to be filled. While the other uh, instances, they won't be filled, they will be 
uh, yeah, will be line drawings. And I think this will be a very nice way of having this. So uh, I'm going to center to the whole bed. Here it, here it is again. And uh, now I can start the engraving. And I think this is going to be a beautiful engraving. I am making a stupid mistake here. I used those big circles to align everything, but I don't want to print these circles. So I'm going to remove them like this. And after I remove them, that's when we have to start this engraving job. Of course, because otherwise these will be engraved as well. And we don't want that. We have those coasters and of course first we have to place them on the machine and while placing them uh, we also have to lift the laser a little bit and then bring it into focus and if you have a laser that works with manual focus well then you have to do that manually I am working with a laser that can do this uh, yeah, automatically, so I'm going to use the autofocus function, but if you don't have it, well, focus it on the top of your coasters, of course. And then this is how they look when they come from the engraver and I have to say I think they look beautiful. Now as you might have seen I ended up uh, doing also infill on the layer that I first only took as a line printing because uh, when I only did lines in these dark blocks uh, because some of them were light and some of them were dark in these dark blocks you couldn't barely see the only line uh, engraving so then I turned on the infill and uh, well, I just hit run again and uh, I, I made these beautiful engravings in the dark ones so this is how I ended up doing it um, if you liked it well please give it a thumbs up uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about the lasers that you can use for this kind of engravings well, on almost all the diode lasers, but you will find uh, links to them on my website. So uh, here there will be a link to my website and there you can find reviews of all the lasers and all the 3D printers that I use. And uh, well, of course, you can find your best machine there and uh, buy it uh, yeah, from the official dealers. Uh, so if you liked it, I hope to see you again. Bye.